A while ago, someone told me the person that loves you the most hurts you the most. Right. And I find that to be sure irony. Now, what's the true definition of a relationship? The way in which two or more concepts, objects or people are connected. The state of being connected. It's Dark Knight Radio. I'm Dark Knight. And I want to ask a question. Are relationships meant to actually hurt more than help? Let's just think about it. What's the basis of a relationship or arrangement? If you guys know how I feel about relationships. It's two people or or ideas coming together to form a common goal to go somewhere on a journey. Right. You come. I bring what I bring to the table other person bring what they bring to the table and we bring it together in a natural journey but we also have to enjoy our time together in the process that's the basis so why do i feel like it it hurts us well it's a question but it's also a point i want to make here on this video right now so a relationship friend to friend brother to brother sister to sister husband wife boyfriend and girlfriend manager job manager co-worker in any sense of a relationship i feel like at some point you become not yourself which hurts you being you sometimes being 100 percent you hurts them but not being you also hurts you you, you, you're not standing enough for yourself. You can't be yourself because if I belch or fart or, you know, suck my teeth in a certain way, they're not going to like it. So what do I have to do? I have to hide who I am or hide certain um, the slightest idiosyncrasy because they don't like it. And it, it, it'll make them turn off for me and it'll make them leave. And if I'm afraid of them leaving, I'm going to completely not be myself because they're not comfortable with it. And, and you see how that works? So at some point, being 100% you. Now, this is not unless, you know, a person loves and accepts you for being 100% you. That does happen in rare cases, I believe. But I think most of the time today, we really be something we're not for the sake of the way someone looks or relationships. And I've said this in the past video, and this is not that kind of video, so I'm not going to defer too much. I, I, you know, but... Uh, let's just let's just go on. But if if I'm a coworker and I'm not doing my job, and then other coworkers have to have to you know make up the slack for me or do my job because I'm not fully invested, that's going to create a problem, right? It's the same as in a relationship. If I'm a man, if I'm not providing, if I'm not being there for a woman, I'm in a relationship with. She's going to find it somewhere else, and you always. You always get what you search for. We don't search for nothing we don't have. You always search for what you don't have. Now, <clears throat> at some point in relationship, you're all going to have disappointment, which also hurts us. Some people say it's a scientific fact that we're not mad at anyone. We're naturally disappointed in someone. So you're always going to have disappointment because you feel like you put 110% and that person's not measuring up or even showing the willingness or the effort to match up, then what do you really do? And it's going to hurt you to stay knowing where if I keep staying and I'm putting in, it's going to hurt me. But not being me, not walking away, not taking my life into accountability is going to hurt me. Or, you know, or, or fully being myself is going to hurt them. And, and people put a lot of energy in titles and relationships. We do. We put a lot in it. We put a lot of sweat, blood, and tears, literally. I don't know a lot of relationships. And we do this because in that infatuation phase, we get so hung up on, man, if I do the right thing this time, this girl, she's beautiful, she's going to be faithful, she's going to be... And that's another thing. Just the threat, the thought of someone cheating on you hurts you. It creates stress. And stress can create a myriad of physical conditions and problems. Let's just think about it. Let's say you, the relationship is going well, but in the back of your mind, is she cheating? Is he cheating? And that hurts us. We can't sleep. We can't eat thinking about this. Some of us, we all been in the. We know just, just because you ain't in those shoes now, you, you at a certain point in your life, don't mean that you never were. 
and relationships itself can create certain insecurities because the thing is when you in another relationship with another flawed human being nothing is going to be perfect on either side I don't care who it is I don't care if it's Sasquatch, Rihanna Moses no matter who you date in this life it's something you have to compromise on. Everything is not going to be perfect. You just hope that that one thing you have to compromise on doesn't overshadow them as a person inside your relationship. It doesn't. And because we're in a relationship with, with, with another flawed human being, it's going to be mistakes made. Somebody's going to wake up and, and breath is going to stay. Somebody's going to fart in a relationship. Somebody's going to miss... You know, to to, to do their toenails when you're like, damn, you might want to get your toenail done. It's not going to be perfect. Somebody may may have doo-doo stains in their underwear one day. That's the flawed. That's (laughs) that's the flawed that makes us flawed. I love a nigga, but their feet stain. We go to bed, you know what I'm saying? They got athlete feet. You know what I mean? So we... What we care about always overshadow the low parts of a person in a relationship, the the, the the not sexy part. Like, okay, she got she got she you know she got a she got a fat when she got some big titties, but her breath might not smell the best, or her hygiene might not be the best. Nobody else know what I know. His head, you know his his, you know he 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 got a gut. But they can know how to provide. We <laughs> we take what we wanted to. I want to get to explain it. We take what we want to take. What we attracted to are always overshadows, you know, the the, the not sexy parts in a relationship. Let's, let's think about it. Look at your relationship, right? And look at your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your wife. And let's think about a person you you might not be with. Think about a person you're dating right now and you want to take the next step with them. Think about their sexy and their good parts that defines them. Just think about it for a second. I'll give you five seconds. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's think about the sexy parts for it. It, it, it. For some of you, it could be just a nigga car. Let's think about it. it could be just a girl eyes. Think about what makes them them, right? Think about all the good things. Like even though the five second. Okay. Now think about the part of them that doesn't make them perfect. The cons to their pro. Think about it for a second. Think about the flaw in them that you see when that infatuation phase is over. And it, and it became apparent after you start, or after the veil has been lifted a little bit. Oh, I ain't know this nigga did this. I ain't know she did. This. I ain't know she smelled like this. I ain't know his breath were. I ain't know that it's really not that big. It just, you know, at an angle. And, you know, if you're a missionary and I'm looking at it, we taking showers, it's really not that. Let's think about it for a second. It's dark now. I'm talking to y'all. Now, this dark now. I'm, talk, I'm talking at night. What's happening? Let's think about think about the parts of them that doesn't make them sexy. Can you deal with that? Does it overshadow what makes them great? This is Black Donald Trump trying to make relationships great again or arrangements great again. Okay? Now, to me, what makes a relationship cold, what makes a relationship work is the mental toughness of your partner. Let me say it again. The mental toughness of your partner. Because we live in this life. You may not have long on this planet the way the world is going, but life is full of temptation. It is. It's not always another person. It can be drugs, job, fun itself, traveling. And temptation is everywhere. You walk outside right now and temptation is going to walk down the street. And it's going to force you to think you have insecurities about your relationship. Man, that girl fine, man. Like, is she fine enough to make me leave my girl? And it's always funny when we see a person that we're attracted to, we start thinking about the cons in our relationships. When you find a person you like, if you're in a relationship, you find a person you like, 
And they get you aroused just by looking at them. Your, your mouth start watering. You start salivating. How do when I see a beautiful girl, my mouth get watery. I get hungry. Wink, wink. For some reason, I don't know. I know why. We know why. But when you find somebody you're attracted to, you get you, you, your mouth watery. You look at them. You you for, for for about three seconds you forget you're in a relationship. Let's just be honest. Stop playing, y'all. We grown. Stop playing. I know y'all do. All right? I see it on my job, going to Publix, going to Kroger. I see you with your bar friends at Kroger, and I see the way you look at me. I see you at Kroger and Publix. I was at Publix the other day. Girl walked down with the uh, frozen section out of the bar friend. Her bar friend turned her head to grab some peas. She always looked at me. I said, look, I know what she's doing. She thinks she's slick. She ain't slick. What are we doing? If you go out with your girls one night and you go to the to exotic paintings and paint the silk with the male strip club and you and you're looking and these niggas all around you like 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 you in the like the, the fruit section at Kroger and you start instantly thinking about what what don't my nigga at home do good? You're gonna start comparing right away. But the mental toughness of a person is sexy to me now. A person who can Block out certain temptations. You know what I got? I, I'm good at home. I don't need that. Oh, I'm straight. I don't need that. He do this. I don't need that right there. I'm good, baby. Because let's just be honest. A part of the journey is the end. Let me say it again. A part of every journey, every adventure, every movie, every song is going to be a beginning, a middle, and an end. It is. Only our only our experiences and memories makes us sad. You can think you can think of something right now that make you cry. You can think of something right now that make you cry. A song, a movie, something's gonna make you think about that. It's it, it's your cerebral cortex. It's what it, where it holds memories. You can think of something right now that make you cry. Another question for you guys: How many healthy relationships? Do you know in your life and be honest? Who do you look to for healthy relationships? Your parents, your friends, television, love and hip hop, euphoria, that, yeah, don't get me started. But what do you look for in healthy relationships? How many healthy relationships do you know? And does it play a factor in your life? Does it have an impact that you don't see it? For some people, they don't do stuff they don't see other people doing. That goes that mental toughness again. Every relationship, not just romantic, every relationship is meant to almost hurt or harm you because you're always going to be disappointed in some way and something's going to come to an end. If nothing, if nothing, if nothing is perfect and if nothing lasts, how can we be happy in it? Is it the time we spend, the memories, the experience that we do until it ends or until something bad happens? Is that what we like? The time. Because to some men like me, you really have the most fun going out when you have a girl or you dating someone. You get to go to a nice restaurant, to the movies. You may travel. You may go to sporting events. You may have movie nights, which are my favorites. Which is my goal. I love movie nights. I'm a whole vibe, my whole experience. If the girl's willing and she consents, the movie night's gonna be awesome. I digress. But just think about it. And thinking about it now, yeah, the person, the per, the people who are closest to you does do the most damage. Because the person who knew you long would do you wrong. Friendship, parents, any in any aspect. You work at a job for 20, 25, 30 years. That's relationship. Oh, you know what? We we eliminated your job title. We're laying you off budget cuts. I mean, come on. Or you get too old in which you want to retire and you can't work no more. They like the end is always painful. The end of something never comes good. 
can we all leave on top? No, this is life. Nobody's gonna make it out alive, make it out alive, literally. We're not. And that's pain. That's hurt. Yeah, every time somebody dies, somebody's born. But we don't want to hear that. We just know what we lost because that relationship, we can have a relationship with life. And it ends every day for people. So are relationships meant to harm or hurt? I think so because we invest in them. Why? Because we know at some point it's going to turn bad and it's going to end. But every day, every day in the mundane, we we take for granted because we think in our mind, we trick ourselves thinking it's always going to be here. It's always going to be perfect, which is not. And it makes us pessimistic. Does it make us, us negative? No, it makes us aware if we care about it. What I say, I say enjoy the journey, which I'm still learning how to do at my age. You have to enjoy the journey, even the bad times. Why? Because when it ends, you won't regret a thing. It's Dark Knight Radio. And like I say, every video around this time, you know, if you if you feel it, if you with it, if you agree, if you disagree, put it in the comments. But the one thing I want you to make sure you guys do is be good and be safe, man. It's Dark Knight Radio. I'm out of here, man. I don't got nothing else to say. <laughs>